Bonjour tout le monde, welcome to Parisian Street Style with me Farah. We are going on a little adventure. We're going to Canal Saint Martin. But first we're going to make a pit stop and check out this sandwich place. It's about 2 p.m. here and the place closes at 3 so we have to hurry. But I wanted to show you my outfit and like take you with me today. Okay, zooming in. So today I'm wearing this shirt from Pamelo and I've just made a knot because it's oversized and I think that's a cool way to wear oversized shirts. Watch out for my video on how to amp up your basics. Um, I will be doing that really soon because it's something very very simple and I think it's very useful to be able to learn how to wear what's already in your wardrobe, like different ways. Um, so I'm going to be making a video on that. Pamelo. We have this turtleneck. I don't remember where it's from. Maybe from Mango, but not sure. And then we have these jeans. Again, Pamelo. And these shoes. They're such old, like, booties. I show you here. They're yeah, they're such old booties. Even odd or even an odd something like that. I got it ages, ages, ages ago. Uh, probably when I first came to Paris, I think. And yeah. So that's my outfit. So yeah, I thought of doing um, my reflection style vlogs this way. So I thought it can be cool to take you along with me welcome to my kitchen and um so yeah let's go just grabbing my mask i have my sunnies somewhere not here okay we'll find them so yeah let's get going okay such a transformation with the glasses by the way people who wear glasses i fully empathize with you because of the fogging like i wasn't wearing glasses when I was um, you know in winter but now I do and I fully empathize all right let's get going guys because otherwise we're not going to make it to the sandwich place and I really really want to check it out so let's go guys I'm outside paper boy just waiting for my sandwich and um, this is Fille du Calvaire and this is Rue Amelot and I will leave the address if we're ever in Paris um, I will I think it's highly highly recommended this sandwich place so I am trying it out for the very first time and I will surely let you know how and we'll go to Canal Samatar.
now, now I'm here it is in the back and I'm just going to explore this area, find a place to reach my sandwich and, yeah. and I love the apartment here but in the summer it's unreal, noisy, usually. So we are seeing not so much I'm super super quiet time because of COVID. super like is they have this wrapping so you can eat it even in COVID times. Wow, that's impressive. When Basically what I do is I give you a little insight into what's been happening with me so I can mini update and talk more about how I've been emotionally feeling and um, this is a really vulnerable, these are really vulnerable videos um, so I really um, appreciate you being kind in the comments, everyone, everyone here is always so so wonderful so don't need to say that but it just I really I like I just want to preface this by saying that as a Sagittarius it's very very difficult not difficult but like it's kind of anti our way of operating so Sagittarius are very like PR way. We are like PR people who spin the story for ourselves and that's usually how our default is to cope with difficult things, emotions, things happening. I just want to preface that by saying that I've been fortunate enough to have this platform to really open up and share my feelings. So it's kind of like a live journal and it's truly what's happening in my life which I share here. So the month of April has been so interesting because it brought to light a lot of my relationships and basically relationships that are, aren't working. So some people have like actually exited and like there have been big endings to quite significant relationships and of course 
course I won't share who and it is for their privacy and everything. But um, yeah, there have been some significant changes in that regard that people have actually exited you know, my life and I don't speak to them anymore, I don't see them anymore and I've shared a lot of time and a lot of things with these people so that's always a sad process and it's like I've been mourning in April and it's not just one but multiple so it's very interesting how everything happens in its like divine timing and everything happens of course for a reason but the universe like brings everything to a culmination and then this weekend we had the Scorpio full moon and so I'm filming this on Wednesday so I've been these past two weeks until the start of April have been intense, 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 intense. Oh, right, I forgot to even say, you probably already know this if you watch my videos, but uh, in Paris we went into lockdown in the beginning of April, so we have been, you know, with our kids at home, and Frank and I actually made the best of it, so he's such a sweet sweetheart, and he's like, you know, we're gonna be doing like this together of course I'm not going to leave you with the boys in that situation because I have Adam for the two weeks out of three and that's super intense with both of them. Isa is because he's eight it's it's you know it's fairly you know chill and we can we can communicate easily but with Adam he's so so tiny still that it really helped to have like another adult support. Uh, so yeah, we had a lot of intensity going on and um, also really beautiful, wonderful moments where uh, we got a window into how it would be like to live together and just, you know, wonderful to share that family dynamic and everything. So I'm so grateful that we did it together and that I have such a beautiful, wonderful man in my life and a partner who is so supportive and in the last three weeks I haven't been able to really work because I've been just, you know, like when you have kids you you have no idea until you have kids and Frank verified this, you have no idea until you have kids how much time and energy it takes. Like it's not just like you can set them up with something like a toy and then you're free for the next 15 minutes or half an hour. It's more like you're free for the next two minutes and even if they're playing, they want you to be involved in the play. It's kind of insane. Um, and also with my older one, you know, he also needs a lot of attention. But true, like if you set him up with like a so hard to like get into the zone and especially taking meetings and things like that. Um, continuing my story, so I moved further up because a dude came and he was like playing music and he couldn't think. So anyway, so it was so so cool to share that with Funk and I really really appreciated that gesture and it shows me like you know, partners in this and it's just fully in and that's so special to me because I haven't, haven't had that experience in just it's been so rare in my life to have that so anyway I also want to, to share that I'm telling you about the relationships culminating and um, so all throughout that month anyway we were, we were with the kids and so it was you know super intense as it is and um, 
after after being with the kids on top of that there was this all this like this highlight around my relationships and just difficult emotions to deal with so there was a lot it was just it's been an intense April you know just really really intense and having spring is really needed just so helpful to be able to be outside and to sit under the sun and it's really not the same when it's cold I mean you can you can still be outside but you know you, know, you can't be outside for that long because you're cold so yeah so I've just really needed this break and I really thank the universe for the timing of it all because to go through that in winter would be different to go through that in spring this release is, is so so different so helpful and I'm just I'm processing and in the it's a processing and allowing myself to feel the spectrum of emotions coming up you know like some days are more intense than others um, some days are easier some days I'm I'm more motivated, but since this week the kids have gone back to school, it's been, man, it's been so good. Like I've, on Monday I just did, hold on a second, I'm just checking my phone. I have a, I have a call in like 20 minutes. So, um, yeah, this week I've just allowed myself to follow, follow my feelings. So. The Monday was all about you know content creation. It was fantastic. I filmed a video. I did some TikToks, reels, or whatever, and it just felt so good to have the time. And I even worked out, which is wow. We were working out a little bit, to be fair. The week that we just had Isa, we did workouts every day, and I've just really been called to pay attention to health more and my body and how I feel and working out and my mindset are really really related because I I don't feel good when you know I'm not I'm not paying attention to my body and what it needs and it really needs good healthy food priority and eating healthy and also surrounding myself with people who match match my frequency who who understand me who don't expect things from me I, like I don't expect from them learning to recognize different triggers you know like toxic masculinity like just just toxicity in general in relationships that's really what's come up unhealthy not letting people trample over me honoring my boundaries and things like that that's just that's the core theme I guess and it's shown up in different ways in different people which is so surprising when it happens, you know, you're just like thrown for a loop and I'm sure I'm not perfect, but that's, well, I think things happen for a reason. People go up into your life for a reason and people also exit your life for a reason. And just, it's the flow of life. It's not easy, but it's the flow of life. It's what we have to go through. So, sorry for the long-winded tangent, all to say that I am just processing my emotions right now and really, really trying to be kind to myself and give myself what I need because I know that will make me a better partner, a better mother, a better friend and 
someone who can truly love myself more and more and it's good we all need to love ourselves more especially at this time the world is you know we more and more we know that the people around us really really stand to make a difference and in everything so anyway so that's been my April guys All are well, and yeah, Paris is now well. I don't even know what's going on. I just know that schools are open. We have a curfew. We are where we are, and I know that everything is going to be fine as long as I have my family, my peeps, and I have this beautiful body. My lungs. I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. I just have to take care of myself, and I hope that you all are taking care of yourselves too, and sending you lots of love.